It's just a beautiful fall day here in Montreal and uh, there's something I've wanted to do for a long time and I've just been putting it off but today it feels right. It's a beautiful day, sun's out, leaves are changing, you know things are dying, it's the fall. So I've wanted to go and visit Leonard Cohen's grave for a long time and it turns out that it's not far from the road that I ride almost every day. So we're gonna go and check it out and uh, pay respect to somebody who influenced me greatly as a teenager, listening to his music, reading his books, his poetry. So let's go check it out. Here's the end entrance to the cemetery. Let's see if we can get through here. Not allowed biking in the cemetery. So we will dismount here. It's beautiful up here. This is a really big cemetery. It's actually really old too, but uh, there's a lot of people buried here. And uh, it's a really pretty time of the year to be here. Look at the scenery. It's a nice place to end up if you can uh, afford it, I guess. I don't know how much it costs, but... Uh... So let's go try and find uh, Leonard Cohen's grave. And we are walking through the cemetery looking for Mr. Cohen's grave. And I think it's actually right here. Check it out. Yeah, here it is. It was nice to see Leonard Cohen's grave. I bike by it almost every day and I didn't even realize it. But just in the short time I was there, there were over a dozen people came by and just paid their respect. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing how many people he touched. And uh, yeah, I was heavily influenced. I would say heavily influenced, but definitely influenced by him. Reading his books, listening to his music. When I was a teenager, early, t early 20s, I really, really enjoy this stuff. I still do. Um, yeah, just a beautiful day today. And we're gonna keep on biking here, get our heart rate up, and try not to get the COVID. 